If we can do an extra $100, 11100 would be a record month for the year. Striking up deals, furniture flipping. Well, we're back. The results are in. You are now in the presence of a... Uh, we're on? Yeah. All right. Bit of a midweek what's sold, which is a little bit different to the way we normally film things. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, I haven't updated the board here yet, but I'll put the camera over it anyway. The last recording that we had here was $10,525. Um, so we're on the last day of the month today, the 31st of July, and we are $60 away, Courtney, from 11000 Yeah. Pretty sick. Definitely. So we're going to do that today. I mean, it's early in the morning. We're going to get 60 bucks. hopefully come through. I'll take any best offer that I can get. Yeah. Um, because that has eluded us for the last five months. Mm. Um, if we can do an extra $100, 11100 would be a record month for the year. Yeah. So hopefully we might document that throughout the day. Yeah. See if Update. we can get our record month. We've got a few orders here um, that we were sort of working on this morning. We're going to be doing predominantly a thrifting day today. Um, a big hello to all of the new subscribers of the channel. I think over the last week we've had 500 new subscribers join, um, which is nuts. It normally takes us about three months to get a thousand and we've had 500 in just a week. Um, so thank you very much for, for joining the channel. We've got a couple of sales. We won't put the camera over it just yet. We'll go through it one by one. There's four to talk about and then a bunch of thrifting. So hopefully it's an entertaining video. First one up. First one is Malcolm in the Middle. This is not a complete set. It is a one to seven. So we're just missing season seven to make that complete. If you have this incomplete though, you can get about $100 sale price. So we listed it for $70, um, just obviously missing that last season. And we took a best offer of 60 for this one. Uh, we only bought this thing last week too. So high um, sell through rate. And yeah, that will go into a medium satchel for 10, $12. Yeah, spot um, on. But yeah, good sale. Now, these ones here aren't the, the flashiest pair of shoes. They are a little bit dirty and worn, as you can see there. These are the Nike Air Prestos. Prestos, they're a really good shoe, and I've sold the Presto quite a number of times over the years. But these ones weren't selling, and probably for the fact that they were looking a little bit dirty and ragged, and I had a $50 sale price on them. Just yesterday, one of my little daily tasks that I like to do, we're well, not daily with this one, it's probably maybe once every one or two weeks, um, I'll just check all of the watches, um, so you can do a search via watch, and uh, I would just manipulate the price, just so if it's 5% less than what, the, what we were originally asking, um, an alert will go out to all of those watches. I think there was like nine or 10 watches on this one. Um, I had it priced up for 50 and I generously dropped it down to 40 and we got the full sale price of $40. So literally that little action, that little manipulation in store brought about an instant sale on these shoes that I've ultimately had for, for months, maybe even years in the store. So um, just a little tip here, obviously shoes do well, but that little tip got the sale. Another box set. Another DVD set. The Secret Life of Us complete series. Um, as you can see here, we do do a few box sets. We'd like to fill this whole bookshelf with box sets, but they are kind of hard to find in the thrift for a good sale. They usually go very quick because I feel like a lot of people are selling them on eBay. Uh, we paid $15 for this one and we got a $40 sale price. So with fees and postage, um, won't be a huge profit, but still pretty fast. Um, what did I say? $40 sale price. <laughs> 40 bucks. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. All right. This was the other one. Another DVD, but a good DVD, just a single copy of Family Values, The Full Tour of 98. This was a really cool DVD that sold for 40 bucks. I have had it, granted, for quite a while in store. I actually forgot that I even had it. We had it that long. Mm. Um, but this was when I saw it and listed it initially all those, all those months ago. Um, I thought that we'd get a pretty top dollar on it and I didn't accept any best offers. It sold for the full asking price. So uh, medium tracked envelope for $6.50 to send anything like that off. Same with our video games. Uh, yeah, I kind of would have liked to have watched that. You've got Corn, Ramstein, Ice Cube, Limp Bizkit was one of my favourite bands, hey? Is it the biggest, is it live shows? Yeah, it's like a concert um, mm -hmm. of all the different biggest name acts of 1998. Yeah. Um, pretty wicked DVD. <laughs> So the plan of attack from here on in is for Courtney to go ahead and ship off all of these sales that have come through and then we're going to go out and do some thrifting because we need to fill up the rest of this week. Uh, we've got three days left in the week where we're trying to do at least $500 a day in value 
Um, so that means there's about $1,500 worth of fines that we're going to have to get this afternoon, Courtney. Yeah. You reckon we can do it? Yeah. All right, let's give it a crack. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, 10 out of 10, let's wait. I've been going big on the pigs out of state. Do research, check out the back of my place. I rep so heavy, your tech when I take. Still, I'm on that for the long run. That ain't that yeah. you got say the right one. Don't try me, I rep like a python. Furniture. I want to know how much that is. This one's 150. 50 bucks? 150. This one's 50 though. Oh. Uh, I'm going to buy this. No, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Surely not. 100%. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, we've got series one. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. So that's what I'm likely to look of first. <clears throat> beast quest, one, five. I think there's a lot of beast quests though. Uh, I hope the notifications pop up. Beast quest, I hope it does. <laughs> Just got rid of that. Tinder. <laughs> no. Uh, Base Quest, books 1 to 12, series 1 and 2, no. Series 13. I might type in Base Quest, series 1. 1 to 5. I think you just need a whole heap of them. Yeah. They look like monster sets, so having only five, didn't work. even at that price of 50 cents each, probably just isn't worth it. Mm. Oh, we've just had an offer come in. Mm. Remember, we need 60 bucks. Yeah, what is it? $55 for Unravel and Unravel 2 on PlayStation 4, and it, we've listed it for 65. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yes. There you go. So that means we are... $5 five bucks away from 11 grand. Mm -hmm. LG DP132. So there's the model number. LG DP132. What is that? DVD player? Yeah, DVD player. I don't think it's gonna be a lot. So it's 10 bucks here. And it goes for about goes for goes for about forty five. Yeah, we always some of the stuff we do look up. Yeah. Yeah, it wants less than half price. That one's not too bad. It's about forty five forty 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 five. Do you know if it works? Do you guys test it? Oh it has been. Um, I'm gonna pick that up then. Thank you, sir. That um, chest of drawer cabinet just there, 50 bucks I think you've got on it. Would I be able to pay for that now and come and pick it up with Sabo? I'll just have to come back with a ute yep, yep, to collect yep, no, it. Yeah, that's fine. Because I thought it was, so you know that that's separate. That's separate, yeah. No, nah, it'd just be this I'm after. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back in the furniture flipping game, Courtney. That. We'll get 150 for that, and we'll get it in about two days. Do you reckon? Yeah, I, I know. Spent months doing that, and that was the exact same model of the ones that I used to do it for 150. Yeah. So very excited about that. All right, we are at the Animal Welfare League op shop, and I'm going to say we will find absolutely nothing in here. But let's have a look. Hey mate, oh. not too bad. Got Hornblower series one, two, and three, but it's a region two. Mm. Region four plays in Australia for anyone that doesn't know. Yeah. No DVDs here at all. Hey. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, not hello. Good. Hello, hello. No. Anyone that says hello to you? No, no. Anyone that says hello? No. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. Black Mamba Ultra 6 Spinner. Have a look, see. I don't know. Interesting. But that's the last lot that we've got. Oh, what, well, you've been selling a few, have you? Yeah. Okay. I'll have a look I'll, into it. Yeah. I'll do a bit of research on it. Thank you, though. It's all right. Have a good day. And you can go. You too. 
Vintage Yo-Yo Black Mamba Ultra Orbiting, 15 bucks. Each. Probably not worth it, is it? No. Nope. Then this, is not, this is not a good one. This is not a good one, no. We can be pretty quick through here. Yeah. Horrible display. What's this? The complete collection. The Fall and Rise of Reginald Perrin. That's the sort of thing you want to see. Yeah. This could be all right. What about that? That looks big. Which one? Father Ted. Sorry, the, I don't know. See, that could be good. Okay. Good news. Oh no, hold on. We've got the definitive collection. Mm. One went for about 45. I just don't know how much they're charging. DVD is one dollar a disc. Fantastic, five bucks. And then we'll do the full. That would be good. Do you reckon? Yeah. The full and rise of Reginald. Heron DVD. Always better to type it out. Well, there's like 60s. International. It's a different one. What region is this? Two and four. I think it's a yes. Mm -hmm. See, these ones here, they look cheaper. It's 22, mm -hmm. 21. Where are they selling? US. The different two, yeah. Mm, it looks like the American copy is selling well. Yeah. Which this isn't. That's only five. Yeah. But hold on, I want to check. Yeah, there's not a lot of sales in Australia. Mm. So there's actually only one of series one. So if we have a look at what was what's listed. Someone's trying to sell it for 45. But there's only one. Mm. So there's literally only one of these available on eBay. And there's no sales. Mm. So I'm probably just going to do that. <laughs> right? Yeah. Five this, five dollars. Just on the card, thank you. Count at 30s. 30 bucks. My phone here. Yep. Size 11. Mm -mm. So is a worn? Probably too worn, I would say. These are Crocs Comfort. Crocs actually do okay. Yeah. Are they... No. Baxter. Nothing crazy on them. These are 97s. $15. It's a small size. Seven youth, yeah. and there's been some colouring. Hmm. Why would somebody do that? It's usually white hair. Yeah. What do you reckon? No. I agree. Condition is so important. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's thirty-two dollars. Oh, it's heartbeat. It's a good show. Yeah. So, this one's priced for $32 heartbeat and it's series one to five. Reason why is because it sells for 350 bucks. For one to five? No. Oh. For a one to 18. Yeah. So if I type in one to five, Fifty. Fifty and forty. So yeah, ideally you'd find all complete series set of that and sell it for three thirty. Yeah. Not today though. Yeah. Astro boy. So did you zoom in on that? Mm. Showed them? Yeah. Just recording the screen. There was one that went for 165. Really? And then there were others that went 70. Mm -hmm. I think at best we could probably shoot for 120 on it. 
Mm. Well, they paid Unravel 55. There you go. We're six bucks, five bucks away. Yeah, 60, 120. <clears throat> I think we'll just leave it. Hello, hello. Seriously, never looks any different. DVDs in here have been stripped. So these, I think, are the Gel Quantum 180s, I think. Um, we've sold the 360s before. They were size nine and a half, but look at the price. Five. Good. Brilliant. So I think out of that wall, that's all there is. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Just those, thank you. Well, that's um, four stores and we've got two items. Not good. Not good. Nope. Like, I'll, I'll just spruce up my spaghetti for you. Imagine if it was some lip up. Do you know what you're getting? Yeah. Can we get a crunch wrap supreme meal with chicken, please? Regular? Chicken crunch wrap meal with, you know, large regular meal for me. Regular. Regular, thank you. Water. Regular meal, what do you think you offer? A water, please. Just bottle of water, anything else? No. Oh, can I add jalapenos? Can we add some jalapenos, actually? Add a jalapeno plus in a crunch wrap? Yeah. Yeah, just anything else. Nah, that'll do it. So, just picked up the Facebook Marketplace pickup for Matt. Uh, we got a bunch of PS2 and I think there was consoles in there. I didn't look into it, but Matt organized it with the private buyer. So got that. So we're on our way back to Matt's now. Shout out for you guys new of the time that I was in the Ute, striking up deals, furniture flipping. Well, we're back. We've got a piece of furniture to pick up and uh, I'm gonna go home and list this one up and hopefully even potentially get a sale in the next couple of days because I do think it'll sell quick. Um, but yeah, let's go and throw it in and get it back home. Perfect timing, look at that. Courtney. She'll have all of those video games, so hopefully they're in really good condition. Good news, we've just had another sale. These Nikes have just come through $35. So I'm pretty sure we only need 80 bucks now. We're just 80 bucks away from uh, hitting our goal for the month. How'd you go? We did it. Oh. Have a look at all of this. Just what you want to see. A lot of good games. Thunderhawk 2 Firestorm. It's the PlayStation 1 games that I'm obviously the most interested in. I know there's some PS3s in there. Speed Freaks. Spec Ops. This Tenchu game I think goes okay. Um, Tenchu Stealth Assassins. Let's get them all out. Some of these games I've never actually heard of, so from a comping perspective, guys, I'm not 100% sure on. There's Rally Cross 2, Scrabble, Gran Turismo 5. That's not worth much. Um, what do we got in here? A bunch more. So we got Mickey's Wild Adventure, Raymond 2. That's a good one. We checked that one before, that's worth about 60. Yeah. This one's unfortunately missing a disc. Oh. Um, Spyro 2 is good. Mm. That's a classic game. Formula 197, we could maybe do that as a bundle, the Formula, yeah. oh look, Grand, Grand Prix. Yeah. So we could maybe do, I don't know, I'll have to check to see the value, but I don't think they're gonna be worth much. So we could maybe do a Formula 1, PlayStation 1 bundle. Yeah. Worth of a listing. And then we've got, this PlayStation 2 original bag. It is a bit beat, mm. but I still think it's going to sell. And then we have a very beat PlayStation 1 parts only console. Um, so we'll sell that for parts not working because he said it didn't work basically. Yeah. You can hear it rattling around. Mm. But he goes, did you just want to add that in? And I was like, yes, I do. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the empty bag console 
And then we've got a bunch of other games from PS3, I think, here. So I think the good ones out of all of this are going to be the Call of Duty bundle. I know that one does pretty well at 25 or so. So we can maybe sell that for maybe 35 40 as a pair. Yeah. Um, GTA 5 should do okay. And then Star Wars Unleashed 1 and 2. So we could do that as a bundle as well. Yeah. So I'm not too concerned about the PS3. I thought the value with this buy lied in all of these PlayStation 1 games. What I do need to do is go through and check to make sure there's no horrible scratches. But like that is a fantastic start. Yeah. That's like a mint disc. <clears throat> well, not mint. Gaming collectors will hate me saying that. Really? Bad. Well, chances are it's not completely oh, yeah, true. mint. <laughs> the disc though. Yeah, but if it's in a case like this, it's no. probably not going to be mint. But it looks great. It would be very good condition. It's got its manual too, which is epic to see. You always sell it a lot quicker with that. Oh, that's not bad at all. Any surface scratches? Very minor, very, very minor surface scratches on the disc. So, I'm stoked. Cool. Great buy. Now, come in here and have a look at this. What were you doing? I was out grabbing this, uh, this cabinet and I'm actually really, really stoked about it. It actually fits and suits the room, doesn't it? It does. You should keep it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but if I give this a bit of a clean, a bit of a wipe down. Oh my God, that makes me feel unwell. What? That you're wiping it with your hands. Well, I'll clean them. Oh. Corny, I've spent years in the game flipping furniture. You get dirty hands in this caper. No. Um, but yeah, these slid off, but they're all in there. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this thing. And I used to sell this exact model for $150 um, back when I was doing furniture flipping every week. And I had a van, shout out 21 back in the day that used to watch me in the van. Um, there you go. Good quality. Great quality. I, I can't exactly remember where it's from originally, but this would be like a three to $400 cabinet. Yeah. So if we put it on Facey today for $150 yeah. with a bit of a clean, that's going to sell. So Courtney did a fantastic job yesterday. She listed up everything that you saw from that Facebook marketplace grab. Um, and I was able to see the value of the listings and it works out to a $625 value. So buying it for $150 to sell it for $625, I reckon there's gonna be some good profit in it, but sell through rate guys, these are the PlayStation 1 games. Whenever I get them, they sell. So the sell through rate is incredible for that one. Um, so I should see those out the door pretty quickly. Um, just left it, just left eBay to run overnight last night. It's obviously a new day and um, I've just jumped into the numbers to have a look at uh, what we've been able to achieve. And we did get another four sales come through before midnight. And uh, pleasingly, we actually hit it. We hit $11,126 in revenue, surpassing $11,102. It means we're literally $24 ahead. We got a record. A record on eBay for us this year, uh, $11,126. Um, that is awesome. And, you know, 15.6% worth of fees. We had a really healthy $47 average sale price, and we sold 235 items for the month. So um, pretty stoked about that. Unbelievable result, massive day yesterday, but uh, yeah, it's a new month, August. We're ready to go again, and we're gonna attack $11,000 yet again. I'm gonna leave you with a video right here as well, which was a trip to the flea market, uh, where we bought a bunch of items as well. So I'll see you over there on that one, guys. Thanks for being here for this one.